All right, time for another video. Here we are again at Mount Pinos on the evening of August, well, now it's August 11th, 2019. The uh, waxing gibbous moon is just about down, so its net effects on the sky brightness are becoming fairly negligible at this point. We're staring at uh, the North American Nebula lying on its side with a uh, Sony Alpha 7 Mark III camera set to 1 30th of a second shutter. ISO is 8000. And we have Photonis 4G uh, image intensifier with P43 green phosphor and um, an Omega Optical H Alpha, and it's also got uh, O3 and I think H Beta lines coming through. So it's there's a lot of attenuation, but it uh, brings out H Alpha regions reasonably nicely. And our, our objective lens is a contact size 200mm f2 lens, set to uh, f2. This is f2. That isn't. Okay, that's f2. That's wide open. Nice fast lens. It's pretty damn sharp, too. So, um, we're set to vivid picture mode on the camera. And we're looking at the North American Nebula on its side. Mexico's on the left. Uh, the East Coast is on the bottom. The West Coast is on the top. Tip your head to the right, and you can see North America. I've shot this before a number of times. Right here, it's at 8x magnification. This is in Cygnus, and it's about 65, 70 degrees off the horizon right now. It's on the other side of the Meridian. On its way to setting eventually. Below it is the Pelican Nebula, but it's not looking like much right there, because uh, it's just a little bit too dim to catch in real time. But you get a piece of it. North American's by far more prominent. And if we pan down to the star Satter, which is here in the center of Cygnus, we've got some more nebulosity surrounding it. You have a dark lane there with some clouds, and uh, to the left of that star and to the right of that star is a tuft of stuff. Nebulosity, and if I go a little bit further, I can pick out just really small there the Crescent Nebula, dead center of the screen, kind of circumscribed by three stars, a triangle of stars. Dead center, a little bit of an arc, kind of like, uh, let's say, about uh, two-thirds of an arc, maybe a little less than that, maybe half of an arc, on uh, the right side of the center. And, uh, man, if I, if I just knew where the veil was, I'm not going to try it now, but we'll just go back to the star Saturn and its nebulosity, and then I'm going to go back to the North American Nebula. That's down and bright there, that bright star on the bottom of the screen, and then there again is the North American lying on its side. And this is all with a Photonis 4G image intensifier, not Gen 3, but Photonis 4G, whatever the hell they put in those puppies, these guys that is, and uh, an Omega Optical H Alpha H Beta uh, 03 narrowband filter. And uh, I think we'll call that a wrap and see if we can spot the veil, maybe, which is going to be tiny anyway. But uh, there you go, 8x magnification, ISO 8000, shutter speed 1 30th.